What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we are going over the market as per usual. Before we get into the video guys, make sure to smash that like button all that good stuff. Because if you guys do, smash that like button, drop the sub, and comment down below. You guys will have a chance at winning 200,000 MT giveaway. And also, if you follow Twitter and Instagram, you have an even better chance of doing that. So, also, not only that... If you guys need MT, if you need any grinding services done, make sure to hit me up. I'm selling MT on PS4 and Xbox, so hit me up on Instagram or Twitter for that. And um, yo, before we get into it, guys, let's go over the new daily challenges and whatnot. And then um, we're going to go over the market. So here we go, man. We got the slam dunk. Make three dunks in a game with a single player. That's light. When I get a triple third offline by three or more points, that's easy. And two steals in a game with a point guard. So I actually do need to do that with the man SGA anyways. So... Um, this is why I am an SGA. To be honest, man, I completed all those international challenges on Tuesday, and I'm just chilling, doing my dailies. Um, we're going to get closer and closer to level 34. I am not locking in any sets. But, uh, yo, without further ado, man, let's get into some market. Let's go over some of the new cards, some, ca um, some couple of cards that we're going to go over today. And then tomorrow, we're going to have new content, and I'm going to show you what I did sell. I sold my Dominique Wilkins for 190-something K, which is pretty big, because I did get them for around 120 so honestly with that being said that's pretty good guys right now it's a very good time to sell your cards i say this almost every day i know it's annoying you don't want to sell your cards you don't want to sell your team well i'm going to show you my team right now guys the team that i'm rolling with is absolutely it's literally all rewards besides Giannis and mono ginobili those are the only cards that i have right now um so pretty much man this is my collection Przingis, carly towns Giannis. that's pretty much all we got going guys there's literally nothing special about my team i'm pretty much just getting ready for the new content tomorrow trying to snipe trying to do some solos and whatnot but um pretty much what i've noticed guys if you're going for xp you never want to buy the cards that day you kind of want to wait the next day and i'm going to show you why let's go over pedja let's go over tony parker let's go over big z so pedja's at 150 I bought him for, I actually pulled him in a pack for the original own. I actually did pull him. The problem is with XP, man, you have to pull these cards for original own, which is kind of scummy in 2K, making you want to pop packs more just to get those challenges done. But um, if you guys did buy Pedro uh, Friday for around 220, 250, he's now down to 150. So if you do buy the cards on that same day, you are going to lose about 100k MT. So a little tip for you guys, if you are doing the solos, try to do the cheaper ones first. Because if you go for the amethyst, the rubies, and the diamonds, you're not going to lose as much. And um, here's another example, man. Um, we're just going to go diamond, and then we're going to go international. I'm going to show you guys that this is what you don't want to do. Um, pretty much, man, Tony Parker was around 100K on Friday, or Tuesday, I should say. He's now under 78K, 74K, guys. Same with Big Z. Big Z was almost going for a bid now. Tony Parker's down to 69k. That's kind of crazy. I kind of want to pick up this card, but why what I'm trying to tell you guys, it's just not a good idea. It's just really not a good idea to try to go for these cards. And not only that, man, my man Big Z right here, he's down in value too. So um, if you guys want, try to sell them all before they do end up dropping in value. But then again, if you do want to wait, if you do want to wait, they might go up in value. That's the thing. So we're going to go over some snipe filters. Right now is definitely a great day to sell your cards unless you do want to invest in Tony Parker, Big Z, Wiggins, Rubio, because they are part of some solo challenges. So now let's go over it. Uh, let's go over to market. Here's one of my favorite snipe filters in the game. Um, 40,000 diamond. And why is that? Why do I say diamonds are the best to try to go for? Well, here it is. Um, pretty much if you do get a diamond for a snipe you could just keep them in your auction outcomes and the glitch becomes a thing man these cards will not go away in the auction this is just a very good snipe filter right here especially on fridays definitely a very good snipe filter next snipe filter we're going to go over is out this 20 i know a lot of you subs know about this filter a lot of you subs do take it oh oh see you see what this guy's doing right here he has it in his auction outcomes and he's glitching ad right there is an amazing snipe so if you guys don't know what the glitch is pretty much if you do get a card for like let's say any card let's say you buy a card right and you keep them in your auction outcomes he will still appear on the market so 
people will think that card's a snipe and people will actually put him up for a snipe so now for instance this guy is very smart he sniped out an ad for 6800 and now he is actually keeping that on the market just so there is more snipes so now since there is one for 6800 if you guys want you could go amethyst cheapest that's also a very good filter right here so amethyst cheapest the kid kept it in his auction outcomes and this filter man right here with the glitch going and everything right there 10,000. oh we missed that no way that was done quick so right there we missed a 10,500 rubio he's going for around 17k um so as you guys can see this filter is definitely up there we're gonna go over another one on the amethyst and especially good for budget ballers shooting guard amethyst um here we go i didn't mean to press enable shooting guard amethyst we got richie garing michael cooper james harden and uh they're going up in value a tiny bit besides richie garing because he's still in packs oh that's a pretty good price and that kid's trying to glitch shooting guards as well so as you guys can see man the shooting guard glitch the amethyst glitch the any glitch the auction house glitch in general it's kind of going crazy but this is a very good snipe filter right here man shooting guard amethyst this does try to get you to cj mccollum that is why people are trying to glitch the shooting guard they're probably trying to get cj mccollum and this kid left michael cooper in his auctions for either four hours or about 12 hours so that guy's trying to make bank off this glitch i honestly completely understand try to take advantage of any glitch 2k gives you because their game is terrible um but this is a very good filter let's get into some other filters man diamond finals we got lebron james we got magic johnson and guys there's like no magic johnson's up here so if you guys want if you do snipe one out leave it in your auction outcomes that's a very good idea if you do leave any cards in your auction outcomes you're most likely going to snipe the card again for a lower price this is a key idea so now let's go over some big cards let's go over some cards that i definitely think you guys should sell well we got mr lebron james we got mr magic johnson these are definitely cards you guys want to sell these are 110 percent cards you want to sell period 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 so try to get rid of these cards they're actually max max value um he was literally he's just so expensive this card is not that good he's really not that good i'm telling you he doesn't make a lot of threes wide open i don't think he has interceptor he has like no badges whatsoever this lebron james car is just not that good believe me when i say that you guys have lebron i know he won the finals i understand try to sell him off try to scoop up some other cards i just don't think lebron is that worth it um what else do we got so lebron's not worth it we got magic johnson he's definitely worth the sell uh any pink diamonds man let's check out bird and paul george because honestly i'm kind of curious about their pricing let's check out mr paul george diamond let's see if he did go down in value and he's up even in value guys 100k for that paul george playoff p man it's not worth it let's check out the man larry bird and he's up to 94k too guys this is just a card you want to get rid of i know i love larry bird don't get me wrong this card's actually really good he's just very slow but guys it's just not worth the value right now you just just sell your whole team like literally if you want to win unlimited games first off like if you're decent at the game like i'm not the best player in the world i'm a very good player i'm not the best i've been honestly selling my team off doing the solo challenges and running a decent team and unlimited just to get more wins if you use a god squad you're gonna verse up against even bigger god squads that spend thousands on the game like thousands on the game so try to sell off your whole entire squad the market's honestly at a whole all, all, all time peak uh moses malone guys if you remember he was at 50 000 mt 50 something thousand mt he's up to 80 something thousand mt just think about that if you really if you really want to get moses malone for this expensive you gotta be crazy he's way too much in value he also has no xp challenges guys xp challenges also play a factor and looking at the daily so tyler hero wow so this tyler hero he's gonna be up in value if you guys want here is another snipe filter i don't even know 500 xp for this one he's got to be dumb expensive so as you guys can see man tyler hero going for a big big buck and here's another tip if you guys do pop packs you get those free packs from challenges and whatnot try to keep them in your uh auction house man you can make some decent bank so here's another very good snipe filter in the man tyler hero and um yo that is really all we got for the video i just wanted to go over the market quick market is rising sell your cards off that is all we got for the video hope you guys did enjoy have a good one let me know what you have any questions down below that's it have a good one peace what's up guys if you want cheap fast reliable mt make sure you be up on instagram and twitter i am buying and selling mt Hit me up right now.